Hey, hey, it's Marley Crew. In the following video, we are going to see how to build a cold email reporting system using Airtable, Make.com, and the Smart Lead APIs. We're going to see the actual system itself, so the automation part, uh, how the Airtable table is structured, as well as uh, what are the Smart Lead APIs that we will use. So, without further ado, let's get started and let's show everything that we have available. So, uh, we will start with uh, the um, APIs first that we will going to use. Then we will go to the actual uh, automation setup so that I can explain everything from there. So first off, what we will need is we will need a way to get all the different campaigns. As Marley does an API for, for this, which is able to get all the different campaigns from a specific account. The second part is... Uh, uh, we will need to get uh, the campaign statistics by campaign and date range. So in this way, we are able to get uh, information uh, on a daily or on a weekly basis if we wanted to. So we are able to actually uh, get more granular data of the different campaigns instead of having like the top level data, which uh, is another API call that we will use and uh, where we will get all uh, the main data related to the campaign, such as like what is the send count, what is the open count, reply count, positive replies, and all uh, that stuff. So those are the main ones that we will use. There's also another one that we can use and uh, um, we can use to fetch specific uh, leads that have a specific status. So, and this is the campaign stat statistics by campaign ID. This API allows us to get a list of leads, ideally a list of leads who replied. And uh, what we can get is we can get a list of leads who replied that are in a specific categories if we wanted to. Like for example, uh, the meeting book, the category or whatever category we decide. So this is something, uh, this is an additional part, but definitely can be very interesting. Now, I will show you the, the full automation and then we will go step by step on each of the different parts. So first part, what we do is we set up the Airtable base ID and table ID of your um, or your table. So uh, in this way, what uh, we can do is we can go to, to the Airtable base and the Airtable base is structured like, uh, like the following. We have a client part, we have a campaign part, and then we have a daily campaign data part. So uh, these different tables are for different purposes. One is just for keep the clients. One is to have uh, the high level information on the campaigns. And the last one is to have granular data on a daily basis. And um, what we will need here is we will need this uh, um, ID, this uh, base ID. So every Airtable base has a specific ID, which can be found in the URL at the beginning of the URL that starts with app and then also we will need the, the different table ids so here we will have a tbl and then a couple of uh, uh, couple of random strings and numbers and this uh, will identify the daily campaign data uh, the campaign and the clients uh, have a different one and those needs to be added in the system over here now once we have those we can get started with this so the first thing that we do is uh, we get uh, all the clients uh, which are present within our table. We start with that because uh, our goal is uh, to design uh, the system so that it can be used uh, whether you have one client or 100 plus clients. So here we get uh, all the clients that are currently active. So in our table, you can add, uh, uh, you can add the clients uh, um, provided that you also add the, the client ID of the client and uh, make sure that the status is active so that will be pulled by by the automation itself here we can uh, we define a start date so a start date generally is defined as the day prior to today so in that way we can get granular data of yesterday um, and uh, yeah this is uh, this will be used both for start as well as for end date so what we will do then is we iterate over each client. Uh, in this way, we are able to um, we are able to first off get all the active campaigns, 
and then uh, we we iterate over each campaign and um, we proceed further the reason why we uh, we iterate over each client here is that in that way we can associate the different campaigns to each specific client and then we are able to uh, to look at uh, high level information about the different campaigns such as uh, what is the total amount of emails that we sent what is the total amount of replies what is the total amount of meetings across all campaigns for a specific client and so on so first off we start uh, with getting all the active campaigns and then we iterate over the campaign what we do over here is we make sure that when we are iterating over the campaign we just take the campaign that have a specific the the client id of that specific client so that is the way we um so that is the way we uh, only make sure that we uh, aggregate campaign related to each specific client and then once we have this finalized uh, uh, campaigns that are only related to that client we start with the iteration of each of the different campaigns and the various steps that we have over here so generally the campaign have a couple of different statuses they either are active they um or they are like completed or stopped or they are drafted in the system that we design we decided to avoid using the draft ones and we just have the active campaigns as well as uh, the completed campaign so i will go in order over here first off we have uh, this uh, segment over here uh, to uh, identify if the campaign is present in our table or not and making sure that the status of the campaign is not drafted so if the campaign is not present in our table what we do is we get the main campaign analytics uh, then we get the campaign responses using this uh, campaign statistics that I mentioned over at the beginning. Uh, and this will uh, uh, likely be a list uh, of various leads who replied. And then what we do over here is uh, we iterate uh, over this list of leads uh, and we just look for, for example, the leads which have a specific lead, uh, um, lead category. So in this case, we just look for people that have meeting book the category. If you have a different lead category, here you can change uh, the name. So, um, and by the way, one thing that you can do is you can also copy paste this. And uh, if you also want to have information about another kind of lead status related to a specific campaign, you can do that. Uh, um you can do that by changing this uh, um uh, this text over here then what we do is uh, we we stop the the campaign for a couple minutes and then we create a new campaign directly within our table with all the information that we have available and that we get from uh, the different parts campaign name prospect contacted email sent uh client id as well as uh, every other information over here. The second part here is when the status of a campaign is actually active. So if a campaign is active, what we actually need to do is we need to make sure that we update the information related to that campaign. So uh, what we do over here is uh, we perform the same two operations that we performed before. So we get the main campaign analytics, we get the campaign responses, and then what we also do is we get the daily stats. So in this way, um, we can get uh, the granular data that we wanted to. Then after that, we get the campaign ID. So a campaign ID uh, within our table. So we make sure to associate uh, um, the specific campaign ID in, uh, in our table with, with this. And then here we have uh, two different parts. So we have one part related to the campaign uh, related to updating the campaign details by uh, by also adding like the the campaign booked so like this process is essentially the same as this one over here but uh, uh, instead of creating a new one we update the information that we have available uh, meanwhile in this one we create a daily report so uh, in order to create the daily report what we need to do is we need to uh, iterate over the, the responses and check which response is uh, positive. So uh, here we check for the positive replies that have a specific lead category that we defined, that we define. 
and uh, also making sure that the reply time is equal to uh, the, the start date. So in this way, we only get uh, positive responses that happen during that specific day. Uh, this, is, uh, this is very key for, for the filtering part. And then we do the same thing for calls booked. So in this way, we are able to get a positive replies and calls book for a specific date. And finally, what we do over here is we create a daily campaign report uh, at the end. So that's that. Uh, finally, the last part is the part where a campaign is completed, stopped, achieved, complete, uh, or whatever the case might be. So what we, uh, what we do over here is first off, we check if, uh, um, if uh, the campaign completed is not uh, in a, in a specific uh, array so what this means is uh, uh, within our table we have a system to check uh, if uh, clients have uh, um, uh, to check what are the completed campaigns for each of the different clients so in this way uh, we uh, we save on operations cost uh, in make.com is a little bit of a technical uh, reasoning behind that but that's it that's uh, that's why and uh, what we do over here then is we check, uh, um, yeah, we check if uh, the campaign has not the report pool. So the report pool is what we use to run this uh, this whole process uh, to make sure that the data, uh, the data from the uh, the data from the campaign has not pulled again. So in this way, we just uh, when a when a campaign is completed we just get the data once and we don't have to uh, get the data again and so we perform the same actions over here so we get the main campaign analytics we get the responses we update the details as well as we create the daily report but this is uh, um this is done once and then if the campaign is completed we don't do that again so uh, this was an explanation of the system itself. Uh, this is really powerful, as I mentioned. I use this uh, for close to 20 clients now, from people that have one uh, client to people that have 100 plus clients. And uh, this uh, is uh, extremely efficient and extremely reusable. So uh, with that said, this is everything uh, regarding to this actual system itself. Hope you got some value out of that. And, uh, uh, talk to you in the next automation video here on the Smartly channel. Bye-bye.